This bill has uh, some good, a lot of bad, and, and some ugly, frankly. The pension forf forfeiture aspect, something that's long overdue. Unfortunately, it's going to take another vote in 2017 and then passage by the, uh, uh, by the voters before that takes effect. We can do that quickly by simply passing a bill that says before any elected official charged with corruption can accept a plea deal, he has to give his pension uh, as part of the plea deal or go to trial. We can do that without a constitutional amendment. But pension forfeiture is a good start. The bad, we didn't close the LLC loophole. Per diem reform is tepid. No receipts are required. I don't know any public uh, private sector employer that allows you to go on a business trip and doesn't ask for your receipts. You can still buy a house or a condominium with your per diem and enjoy the appreciation and value of that real estate at taxpayer expense. That is a missed opportunity. No term limits, which 75% of New Yorkers want. Not even term limits for leaders and chairs, which would be a great check on corruption. And we had an opportunity to give an extra $50 million to public schools through the invest education investment tax credit and another $50 million to students in non-public schools and parochial schools, but we missed that opportunity. And the ugly is the outsourcing of our responsibilities to nameless, faceless Board of Regents members and an interim chancellor. Everybody uh, who votes in my district knows my name. Some who don't vote know my name. They all know the governor's name. No one knows who the Board of Regents, who sits on the Board of Regents, and yet they're going to make these key decisions about evaluations and whether we should continue to have a hyper-focus on standardized tests. And we're using a one-size-fits-all approach. I represent some very good schools. Our teachers are good. Our schools are good. And yet they're being punished for some schools that are struggling around the state. For these reasons and many others, I vote in the negative.